Hello and welcome to the introduction video of the Norsar Synthetic 3D Seismic Petrol Plugin. Why should you use the Norsar Synthetic 3D Seismic Plugin? So this is a tool to verify if your geological model is consistent with your seismic data. Below you can find some other examples and questions that this plugin will answer. Let's have a look on how it works in Petrol. So here you have Petrol open and we have the original seismic. And what we're going to do, where to find the plugin first. If you go to seismic interpretation, once you have installed, you're going to click on the synthetic 3D seismic. The plugin is going to launch. The first thing you need is, since you're going to create a 3D volume synthetics, is to select a survey. This is only going to be the geometry. So let's come here and say original seismic, move to the box. And what are the data that you can use this as an input? You can use uh, a folder of surfaces, you can use a geological grid model, or you can use your cases, your simulations model. So let's select the grid. Now we go here to the model tab. We're going to select this one here. And what you can do, what you need also, is to select a wavelet. So we'll have already extracted a wavelet in Petrol. Let's use a Hicker 20 Hertz. And you have a couple of options here. We're going to use one option, which is to take into account rock physics model. So when you install the plugin, you it will come with a template and a folder with a few rock physics templates. So first of all, you need to map where this folder is located. And in this folder, you're going to have a few rock models. And also, if you by creating new rock uh, models, this is where it's going to be stored. And that's what we're going to do now. So you can go to the Rock Editor button. And currently, we only have four rock physics models that you can choose from. But they pretty much cover most of the reservoirs. And for example, we can choose the sand and consolidated default. And for the time being, the parameters that we allow you to change are the fluid properties. And also, you can select a mixture uh, model to use. And if we change some of the parameters, let's just say I want a 2.9 here, I can give it a different name, maybe friable sand, friable sandstone, and I hit OK. And you can click here again, select a different rock physics model. Let's use the consolidated one, maybe a reservoir is compactated or cemented. Let me say cemented. And we can also change here to 2, just doing something silly. We hit OK. Now those rocks are available for you. Since in your model what we have is a couple of layers, we need now to assign rocks to these layers. So how do we do that? What we're going to be doing is create on the zone mapper. You're gonna, you can set multiple highlight selection. So if I select multiple lines, I can do a mouse button tree on them. And those are all rock physics models that you have available for you in that folder called rocks. So let's select, for example, friable sandstone for this. And now from 8 until 18, we want to use a different one. I want to use rock or cemented. And then for the remaining ones, we can use rock one. And then we need to give the velocities above the model and below the model. Let's keep it as it is for the time being. We hit OK. The only property that we need to have is the porosity. So let's pick the porosity from our model. So porosity is highlighted. We use the blue arrow to send to the window. <coughs> and you can also, if you have other properties that you would like to use, you can click on the model property button. And you can add them here. For example, we have net to gross, so I'm going to bring my net to gross. And the same for the fluids, even CO2 saturation, we have the ability to, to bring in. And also pressure and temperature. Let's hit OK. 
And this is where this plugin is different because we can do a convolution method that's not only on 1D but also on 3D. And we allow the user to change, to modify the migration half upper to angle. So depending on the complexity of your geological model, and this is what you're interested to study, and you can select and generate synthetic seismic for different incident angles. Let's just keep it a zero. Let's give it a name, YouTube. And usually you would put the incidence angle like zero and maybe the migration half up aperture 2000. And by hitting apply, I'm not gonna run the process for us to see here. Let's have a look in the results. And we have already already generated a different cube so let's move the plane a little bit and this is what you see how good it matches your original seismic another way to do it and you, we can oh let's toggle off the original and just display the new synthetic seismic there we go so it's a full 3d syn synthetics one thing that it's good to do is to analyze uh, the different lines, so make comparisons with them. Well, this is what we would like to show in this first video. Soon we're going to have other videos on YouTube explaining different workflows. Please keep on following us and feel free to ask for an evaluation by contacting sales at northstar.com or going directly to the Ocean Store. Thank you.